that felt good. Mariners win 16 to three. They improved to 70 and 70 on the season, and they've taken one of the three games so far in the four game set against the Oakland Athletics. Here we go. We go over the scoring plays. Oakland gets on the board first on a Brett Rooker single to left to score Lawrence Butler. It's one nothing at the end of one. Mitch Garver doubles home two in the second to make it two to one. That scores Victor Robles and Randy Rosarina. Mariners get another in the fourth. Oh, they get a bunch in the fourth. Mitch Garver singles home Victor Robles. Luis Urias doubles home Mitch Garver. Dylan Moore singles home Urias. And that makes it 5-1 in the middle of the fourth. A's get another in the sixth on a J.J. Blade double to score Brent Rooker to make it 5-2. The seventh inning. <laughs> we scroll down to get to it. Okay. Urias homers to left. Julio Rodriguez reaches on an infield single to score Dylan Moore. A Rosarina doubles home two. Robles singles to score one. Urias walks with the bases loaded. Dylan Moore hits a sacrifice fly. It is 12-2 in the middle of the seventh. A's get one on a Max Schuzman ground out to shorts to score Zach Geloff. 12-3. Mariners are not done. Robles doubles in the eighth. Uh, Mitch Garver grounds out. And Luis Arias hits another RBI double to score Robles. 16-3. You know what your negative from this game is? How nice would it have been if this meant something? And I'm sorry to be a negative Nancy. And I'm going to talk a bunch about the positives. Don't get me wrong. But... It's a win that gets you. And even with the Astros loss, you're still five and a half back. Even with the wild card, a couple of teams losing in front of them, they're still five and a half gap back of that. And there's 22 games to go. That's your only negative is that the end of the day, this was a lot of fun. It's not going to mean much. I hope I'm wrong. I pray that I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. You know who's never been wrong even once is Simply Seattle. Terrible transition. Go to simplyseattle.com. Pick out all the great stuff for the Mariners, the Seahawks, the Supersonics. See my expand shirt. Love this shirt. Got it from Simply Seattle. Great stuff for them. The Huskies, Cougars, Storm Sounders. You can find it all at Simply Seattle. And once you have all of your great stuff, use code MOLLYWOP15, M-O-L-L-Y-W-H-O-P-1-5. There's a link in the description. You go there, you copy and paste that code, you paste it in, you save 15%, you're super happy with your life choices. Thank you so much, Simply Seattle. George Kirby pitched pretty well. Didn't walk anybody. That's never been a real issue with him. You know, gave up some traffic, but he got the big nine strikeouts. He also got a ton of run support. You know, it wasn't vintage Kirby, but it was solid. It was solid. Uh, bullpen did a pretty nice job. Three innings, you give up one run. JT Chagua gives up that one run. You know, low leverage is all heck, but Bizarro gets the job done. Jonathan Diaz gets the job done. You don't have to use any of the high leverage guys. We talked a bunch yesterday about, uh, I almost said Edwin Diaz. Andres Munoz, it's nice if he's dealing with that elbow stuff to not have to use him. Um. Yeah, Holpin did fine. George Kirby pitched pretty darn well. Much better than his last time out. Offensively, so much fun. So much fun. And you know what's crazy? The top of the order wasn't very good. Crawford and Rodriguez and Rally, Raleigh combined to go three for 17 with a walk and one RBI. And that one RBI was a little... Little, little infield hit, but even with those guys struggling, uh, the rest of your lineup was awesome. Rosarina with two hits and three runs and two RBI. Justin Turner, only the one hit, but scores twice, gets on via walk. Victor Robles, I want to end with Victor Robles. Uh, you know what? We'll just talk about it now. Victor Robles, it's such a waste to have him hit sixth in this lineup. And did he even see? Yeah, he had sixth. Yeah, because Garver seventh. I, I just don't get it. But 
good for him for continuing to be as good as any Seattle Mariner there is. Awesome day at the plate. Reaches four times, scores three runs. You know, I talk a lot about what a waste with starting pitching sometimes. What a waste to have him not hit at the top of the lineup. He is your best offensive player right now. Is that darning with faint praise? Oh, my goodness gracious, of course it is. But how do you not have Victor Robles hit at the top of the lineup? I know the answer. It's because one guy's making $10 million, and they're going to keep that guy at the top of the lineup. Victor Robles is awesome. Easily the best transaction they made all year. I'm not sure it's even close. Dylan Moore with a really nice day at the plate. Two for four, scores a run, gets a couple ribbies. Good for Luis Arias. You know, Arias failed fairly spectacularly in his time with Seattle. He wasn't great defensively. You know, you designated him for assignment and nobody had any desire on picking up his contract, which, you know, it's not like it's an albatross, but people don't like paying $5 million or whatever it is for utility help. But he did show that pop. Sure wish he would have shown it on a more consistent basis with Seattle this year. Obviously, showed it with Seattle tonight, but. So. And then Mitch Garver. Pretty easily one of his best days at the plate for the Seattle Mariners. Again, darning with faint praise to be sure. But you got 11 RBIs tonight from Robles, Garver, and Arias. And then add in another two from Rosarina and two from Dylan Moore. Plus one from J-Rod. But the bottom of your lineup was fantastic tonight. If only it had been fantastic, or even obviously, I'm not asking for 11 RBI from your six, seven, eight, and 13 RBI from your six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not, I'm not a crazy person. I'm just looking for competence, and it felt so good for one night to watch an offensive lineup look competent. It, it, something I meant to mention in the negative section. Look, the Mariners can't be beggars, or the Mariners can be beggars. They can't be choosers. Excuse me, said that completely wrong. I felt bad for Jansen Junk. That's no fun. I mean, again, it's hard to you know, and this is just me. I, I'm a I'm a little snowflake who. Feels bad when he watches guys struggle, and that was rough pumpkins. <laughs> Did not get it out and gave up seven earned. Walked two. Allowed a homer. Yikes. And, you know, they scored nine runs even with Jansen Junk not on the mound. I'm, I'm one of those weirdos who, you know, I feel, I'm a sympathy pain guy. And I felt bad for Jansen Junk tonight. I took some pleasure in the fact that the Mariners were the team that did it. But man, that was rough. You know, I've talked a lot about uh, this channel being cathartic. It's a way to kind of get stuff off your chest. Tonight was cathartic in, in the best ways. Because we can all appreciate this, I hope. Sure. It's totally fair to point out that this win is not probably going to help them make the postseason. But I think one of the things you can do with baseball better than maybe any other sport is take these just individual moments, right? These individual blips in time that you can just really watch and appreciate because here's how I've always taken it when uh and it's the other it works the other way too even when you're playing when you're playing super well and you lose well that that great moment those great moments didn't help you that night just like tonight though the opposite of that is you know what sure they've stunk 
stunk since the All-Star break. Didn't matter tonight. Tonight was fun. And, you know, I love to look at these things through my grandma's perspective. And all my grandma really wants is them to be good. But to score runs. She just gets so furious. I get so many texts. Another zero. Another zero. And sometimes, you know, you'd feel like it's hyperbolic with the Seattle Mariners. It's not. But these are the type of games that she appreciates. And I think fans should, too. Doesn't mean you have to go praising ownership. It doesn't mean you have to go praising Jerry DePoto. It doesn't mean you have to go praising Dan Wilson. It doesn't mean you have to go too crazy about the players. But tonight was fun. It's fun to watch your favorite baseball team look competent and beyond competent tonight. 16 runs. I liked it. I had a really good time. And I'm keeping my expectations very low. Low is an understatement. But, yeah, tonight was fun. It'd be more fun if you hit like and subscribe. And if you signed up for My Why Enthusiasts, because we're going to do a live chat tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. Four ninety nine a month. Helps me a lot. Gives you some entertainment. I hope. I'm going to say it one more time. Tonight was really fun.